Ariel Hawani in Phoenix alongside Matt Mitrione, who meets Gabriel Gonzaga this Saturday at UFC on Fox 13. And Matt, I didn't even recognize you. Look at you. I, I got pretty really fast. That's what happens. You know, I've been tanning. I felt like I, I needed to show it off. I got a nice haircut. Yes. So uh, I didn't shave, you know. I just, I'm, just, I'm trying, to, trying to do something. Is it real tanning or fake tanning? It is, it, it's it's uh, artificial bed tanning, but it's not spray on. Because I felt like I did spray on, I'd probably leave some on the floor if Gonzaga got me down there and I didn't want to leave a, a mark on the floor. I'm used to seeing you at these media days when I attend your events, right. your fights. When I make the cut. Yeah, yeah. Right, Sometimes right. it doesn't happen, but uh, you're usually wearing like a t-shirt, belt buckle. Where's this coming from? Well, you know, I feel that, uh, you know, you got to dress the part, buddy. And uh, we're, we're becoming corporate and whatever else. And I'm not afraid to be corporate. I'm not afraid to be pretty. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a talking head, buddy. So if somebody sees me and thinks I'm handsome, go ahead and offer me a job. Is this custom? It is. It is. I, after I fought in China, went over to Thailand, got uh, a handful of three pieces, a couple of shirts. Awesome. And I understand I'm supporting a sweatshop, but that was awesome. Cheap labor. What do you think of this matchup against Gabriel? Do you feel like this is the next step for you? You, you know, you had a couple of those guys who were on the sort of bottom half of the division. He's a name. How do you feel about it? I, I'm, I'm excited about this fight. I think that this allows me to prove where I belong. And I, I say that because uh, Gonzaga is very similar to me, right? He's been around quite a while, longer than I have, obviously, uh, and had some of the biggest fights possible, right? Uh, but also, he's Jekyll and Hyde. He doesn't show up sometimes, and he's the world beater other times. And I think for me, I've shown that same way. My three biggest fights, I pissed down my leg. I didn't do a very good job at them, and I didn't perform. Against lesser-named guys, guys I should beat, I smoke. So now it's time to find out if I put it together and if I belong here or not. And that's what I'm excited about. So is it do or die in a sense for you? Um, it could be. I'm 36 years old, and, and I don't know how many more times I'll get to, to really push the envelope uh, or, or, or to chase it down. So it could be, potentially. And as far as your sort of outside the uh, the fighting life, you seem to be in a very good place. It seems like it's all coming together for you. Is that accurate? Uh, it is, man. I'm actually, uh, I've, I've, it's, it's remarkable how, how easy life can be once you stop being an ignorant fool, <laughs> you know, or at least limit your ignorance. Sure. Yeah. Now life is good. Yeah. I see it on your face. You're radiating. Yeah, I'm good, brother. I'm good. I just shot a movie. I've got really good wow. things in my What kind of movie? Uh, a movie that's actually going to be a theater release, brother. Wow. Even straight to DVD. What's it called? It's called Street. Street the movie. And the, the lead is uh, Bo Casper smart Jennifer Lopez's ex-boyfriend wow. uh, and he's, he's a choreographer he's actually a pretty successful choreographer in his own right way before JLo but uh, it was fun man good time uh, it was a good experience and uh, I got to play a Russian uh, debt collector henchman dumb muscle type wow. and it's fun I got to be the physical presence as far as to make things really uncomfortable or to be the comic relief so it was good Okay, we have run out of time, unfortunately, but I want to wish you the best of luck. I had That's to come right. over here and talk to you. You look fantastic Thanks, and can't wait for this fight. I think it's going to be great and always a pleasure to talk to you, Matt. Appreciate it, brother. Thanks, man.